What is Atom in software architecture? If you're involved in software development and wonder how to make informed decisions about your software's architecture, you're in the right place. Let's break down what the architecture trade-off analysis method, or ADHEM, is all about. ADAM is a method developed by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University to help you evaluate and improve the quality of your software architecture. It's particularly useful early in the software development life cycle when changes are less costly. So how does it work? ADAM involves gathering stakeholders, including architects, developers, testers, and users, to analyze the business drivers and goals of the system. This includes understanding the system's functionality, constraints, and desired non-functional properties like performance, security, and maintainability. The process is divided into nine steps. First, you present the ADAM concept to the stakeholders and answer any questions they might have. Next, you present the business drivers and the high-level architecture of the system. Then, you identify different architectural approaches and generate a quality attribute utility tree, which maps the core business and technical requirements to specific architectural properties. Here's where it gets interesting. You create scenarios based on these requirements and analyze each architectural approach against these scenarios. This helps you rate the priority of each scenario and evaluate the architecture's performance against them. You repeat this process brainstorming and prioritizing scenarios with a larger stakeholder group until you have a comprehensive analysis. The final steps involve presenting the results to all stakeholders, including the identified risks, sensitivity points, and trade-offs. This documentation serves as a basis for architectural decisions and helps in improving architecture documentation. ADAM is crucial because it increases communication among stakeholders, clarifies quality attribute requirements, and identifies risks early on. It also ensures that long-term decisions are based on a solid foundation, making it especially valuable in large and complex projects where multiple teams and stakeholders are involved. For example, if you're working on a system that requires high security and scalability, ADAM helps you understand the trade-offs between these competing goals. It makes you ask questions like, is it more important that my system is highly secure or highly scalable? This systematic approach helps you make well-founded decisions and avoid costly mistakes later in the development process. In essence, ADAM brings structure to the often complex world of architectural decisions, ensuring you keep a constant on the quality of your system and make informed choices that align with your project's goals.